Uh, hello everyone. Uh, so in this video, I, I'm going to talk about the error that we get when we try to push some commits that we are yet to push on the GitHub. So I'm hopeful that this time I will get the same uh, that Java kind of error that we get. That's basically related to some kind of session like expiry. So I'll just check first if I will get that error. Uh, if, uh, if I'm lucky, then I'll get it. I have already clicked on the commit, uh, so I'll just click on the push now. Uh, right now, this is all the files that I need to push to the GitHub because I haven't already. So these are all the commits that I've made since the last change. So anyway, I'm just going to proceed with the push button. Now uh, it's trying to put, now it's giving me some push of the current branch. I think someone has, uh, wait, let me check. I, I think someone has made changes in there repository i guess let me check yeah yeah so i first of all i would just update my project or uh, rebase it let me first check what has been done anyway now i can continue with my push he has done a lot of changes anyway let me just push it now uh, i think i will not get that error oh my god push is successful so anyway <laughs> so unlucky uh, but yeah uh uh, if you get that error, all you need to do is just uh, make sure the git is obviously they should be visible. Uh, first, then go to file, then settings, then go to version control. Uh, here, uh, you have this uh, right arrow. Then click on GitHub. Uh, here is your account. Uh, so just click on this remove. After this, just click apply and then click add. Uh, just click with login with token i hope you have the token uh, i already have it with me so i just need to copy paste the token if you don't have it so you can just always click on generate and then you know you can go to your github just give the password and then you know, allow everything then generate token and you will get that token i already have one so i will not generate it so i will just click on token and add account so now it has been added now what i will do i will just uh you know here close the project then close the android studio and then restart it like hopefully it will be working fine so i hope i was able to help if you have any further error you can just uh, drop down in the comments